What's going on guys? So in this video right here, we're going to be installing uh, this Zag uh, Vision Guard Defense Curve Screen Protector. And I wanted to do this as soon as possible because I didn't want to get any scratches on this thing. And also aside from that, we'll also be trying out some cases that I purchased here from Samsung. We got a clear case. We're trying that out. We also have a leather case and the silicone grip case right here. You can get all these uh, from samsung.com. I can leave a link in the description to where you can purchase these at, or you can also get them on Amazon, wherever. I'm gonna find the cheapest link and I'm gonna put it in the description so y'all can know uh, exactly where to get this stuff. Also, if you use the link in the description, you'll be helping the channel out. So, your boy will really appreciate that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the install for the screen protector right here. Um, now, I'm not sure, it says, um, if you look right here, we have a Fusion Vision Guard Defense Curve. It says flexible hyper protection with glass-like feel. So I'm not completely certain if this is a actual tempered glass or just a really thick film, but it says extreme flexible protection with glass-like feel. It contains antimicrobial treatment that protects your screen protector, compatible with in-screen fingerprint scanner. I say 40% blue light filtration at 435 to 440 nanometers. All right. And of course, you know, Zag always has a thing with uh, you buy here, replace here, lifetime, limited lifetime warranty. So if anything happens to it, you make sure you go on, on the site, um, register it. And if anything happens, you can get another one sent to you for free. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have the S23 Ultra right here try to do this as quick as possible but not too fast to where I mess up the screen protector. I don't want to do that. So let's go on and crack this thing open. Zag screen protectors are always pretty good. So I'm looking forward to a great experience. Alright, put that to the side. That's the registration right there. We got our guard right here. Let's see. Let's try to make sure we get this done right. This is the top side, so I gotta remember that. And it's right here is the screen protector itself. And yeah, that is, it, it feels like a, a real, a thicker film, not a tempered glass, but a thicker film, not like a cheap, cheap film. So this part right here. All right, this is our squeegee and everything like that. So we're gonna need all that stuff like right now. So let's go ahead on and do that. All right, um, so we're gonna put this down here, the top of the phone there. Make sure we get it down in there good. Okay. All right, so always first thing that we're gonna do, actually no, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna look at it and see how the application is supposed to go first. Peel this layer off first, avoid touching adhesive. So we have this side to peel off first. That's the one side and that's pretty much it. So it seems like, you know what? It feels like, a, um, I don't know. I don't know if it, it's kind of got like a matte look to it, if you can see. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it's gonna look when we put it on, but we'll see, man, we'll see. This is a Gorilla Glass Victus 2. And I know they claim they get better every year, but man, you'd be surprised how the elements find a way. All right, here we go. Swipe this thing down. Let me see, y'all need to, need to get y'all closer. Yeah, let's do that. That right there, that's better. Slide it over here a little bit. Get some of that light out of y'all face. Okay, okay, put you to the side just in case we need you again. Wipe this down, make sure we get all the fingerprints off. No dust, nothing. We want it to be completely flat. We almost there, y'all, with a completely flat screen. So, it's 
Samsung, we're gonna give you a little, you know, y'all gave us a little more flatness this time. So we're gonna hold on to that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we'll take it. Peel this layer first, avoid touching the adhesive. Peel that off. Boom. Obviously we got the top up here with the camera. Alright. These little perforated holes not really spaced out the way they should be. Alright, but we're gonna press down on it. That's about it. So for the last little bit, let's go ahead and peel this off. Come on, focus up, focus up. All right. And this is what we got right here. So it is not perfect as much as I tried to get it perfect it is not perfect but we can say that the screen is protected yes we can say that the screen is protected all right so taking it out now back out up just a little bit all right so looking at it Right off the top here, like I said, it's not 100%. Still got a couple of little bubbles, like small little pieces up here. But for the most part, it is, uh, I mean, it's up there. And it's not, you know, it's not too, too bad. So now, first thing we want to check out is, is this uh, fingerprint scanner. Okay, okay, that's one. Ah, uh, two. Ooh, this is, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Because this is, uh, it's real hit and miss right now. Maybe it's just got to learn it. Okay. All right. All right, maybe it's just a learning thing. But so far we looking okay. All right, cool. So we screen protected. We are screen protected. Everything looks all right. So let's move on here. Whew, screen protector is put on. We're gonna keep you, keep everything pushing. So first thing first, let's go ahead on and get into this uh, clear case right here. Cause we already know how these clear cases rock. They are okay. They're not the best. But let's go on and get into it. I'm gonna hold on. I don't waste no time. All right. So right off the rip, you can kind of tell it's uh, this is a really flimsy case. It is. I don't know if it's gonna provide the protection, but I mean, if you're trying to show off the color, then I mean that's pretty. You know, that's uh, that's what you want. Then cool. All right. So we got it slapped on and everything, and this is what it looks like. It really does showcase the color that you have. Uh, as far as the protection is concerned, it has a little bit of uh, a little bit of coverage up here at the top, and also here on the bottom. But then you see at the bottom here, it's also got this big cutout down here, which you don't have to worry about that too much. But you got your cutout for your S Pen, you got your microphone cutouts up here uh, on the sides. You know the buttons, everything works pretty good. Real clicky, that's nice. It's not a bad feel right there, so that's this case. 
Just gonna pull that off real quick. That's the silicone case, all right. Now this case right here, this is one that I'm actually, I was actually kind of interested in because I've never had a leather case from Samsung before. We'll just see how this is. All right, so first thing I will say, oh, by the way, this right here, this case, it does feel a little grippy. If you have oily fingers, uh, yeah, it probably will be a little slippy, but it's, it's a little grip, but not, not too much. All right. Uh, and as far as this case right here, this is this is nice, nice, nice leather. Got your Samsung down there, at the bottom. You know, you got your you got your little suede in the middle here. That feels good. All right, so let's gonna slap this on. See what we talking about. Okay, boom. There you go. All right. So with this case right here, this is definitely more of a case if you're going out and you know you just want something that looks elegant, uh, nothing too too fancy. Of course but you still want to you know show that you got a little you know a little zest you know so everything is a little nice you know what i mean you know what i mean okay um but you got your cut out here at the top the buttons everything feels all right with the buttons pretty clicky still you can get to your s pin down here you got your charger ports and um microphones and speaker cutout grills down here camera is is decent uh and based on the way the cameras are made, I mean, you're not really going, it's not going to hurt you too, too bad. You know what I'm saying? With the cameras and everything. So you don't have to worry about that being a problem. That's kind of rescinded a little bit. All right. So this is the uh, Samsung leather case. All right. Now you can scratch this case with your fingernails if you don't watch it. So you definitely want to be careful with that. And I ain't going to lie, these cases hard to get off here all right come on yeah ouch that was tough okay try it from the top again all right so we got the <laughs> Samsung leather case right there now this case right here I ain't even gonna lie to y'all I already took it out but it's the Samsung grip case this is a real nice case I felt like it was uh, necessary I had the same case on the fold 4 and it um, it felt pretty good, so I said, you know what? I think I need to go with this case right here for the S23 Ultra as well. And I have it right here. This is the case, so let's go and slap it on. See how it feels. All right. Now this case right here, of the three that I have, this is probably my favorite case. And I say that because of exactly what it's called. It's silicone for one, it's a gr and it has really good grip for two. So, okay, so now we're looking at this case. Let's go ahead and check it out. As you can see, you know, everything is still, you know, you real, it's, it's, it's rescinded on the screen right here. So you got protection, you got protection down here. You know, you don't have to worry about it too much on the sides because you got the top, the, the top and the bottom, top and the bottom are pretty much covered. Then you flip to the back over here. We're looking at the cameras. You got a pretty decent, um, you know, decent depth right here with the camera. Not too, too much, but you definitely don't have to worry about scratching up your lenses or anything, especially with this grip here on the side. Now you get this case for two reasons. One reason being that um, it's grippy on the sides and everything, but also you get it for this grip right here. So with this grip right here, whether you left-handed or right-handed, in my case, I'm left-handed, I can just slide my hand in here, hold it just like this, everything be good to go. Or if you want to put it in your right hand, just like that, it's still good to go. You don't have to worry about it slipping or falling out. Uh, you can also put it down on, put it down face down, you know, and it, and it works out really good. You don't have to worry about any scratches or nothing like that. Still checking out that screen protector. Everything is real clicky on the sides. You know, you don't have to worry about anything, man. I mean, this, this is, this is a great case right here. You got all your cutouts and everything. Everything looks pretty good. All right. So those are three cases. Let's get on up out of here. All right, guys, so in this video, you know, we already installed the uh, screen protector glass-like film. Uh, it is kind of a hit and miss. It's not like the tempered glass, you know, um, the film is delicate. So you definitely have to be careful when you're installing it. But also we looked at these three cases here. You got your, your clear case, you got your leather case, and you got the silicone grip case right here from Samsung. If you like any of these cases, man, um, 
drop a comment below let me know what you think about them uh i'll be reviewing some more cases as well because i'm all about this protection man and i would also like a stand um uh, with the a case with the stand on the bottom so i know y'all know a few let me know in the comments uh which ones y'all want to see which ones y'all think or know to be good and I'll leave links in the description for all of these products right here, man. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I will holler at y'all in the next video, man. It's uh, JR right here. Y'all take it easy. Be safe. Peace.